Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about principles of hide selection. Obviously, we're on a road right now. This is not the ideal place for a hide, right? We'd be up there in that bush up there if we were gonna actually, but I wanna teach you a few things, okay? So let's say this bush right here is your your FFP. This is the, it's thick enough. You've got multiple layers in front of that. It's, it's the ideal spot. So those are things that you need to consider. How many layers of veg do I have between me and the OP or my intended target, okay? And you wanna, the best hide has two, three, four layers in front of the actual bush that you are using, okay? If you're gonna use a bush style thing, there's there's multiple ways to do these FFPs, right? You got tree stacks, you got bush hides, and you can make your own bush out of your own veg, you know, by the stuff you've collected all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna veg up all of our equipment. So where do we get that veg from? Do we get it from this bush? We should have had some as well. Uh, we should have brought some. We shouldn't, we shouldn't take anything from the bush that we're, we're gonna be utilizing, okay? So in our route, however we got here, in our route to get here, we're gonna be collecting up and making something, a bunch of these up. Uh, these things right here. These are veg fans. They're very useful, okay? Hopefully that the vegetation you're, you have is durable so it can last. And you can use these, these veg fans in so many different ways. You can add them to augment your tripod, augment your gun, augment your bush. You could, if you've got enough of these made up and they all don't have to be this thick, okay? You can make smaller ones, bigger ones, whatever you wanna do. And you can add it to the bush to make it thicker if you, you want to. Okay, so when we select our bush, we decide this is the bush that we're gonna, we gotta make sure that we got a good bullet path. We know the distance and the bullet path. I'm not gonna hit anything. It's nothing's gonna throw my bullet off. Is, does it provide enough uh, concealment for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to have cover, but you gotta have good concealment. And then how many layers do I have in front of that? Mm -hmm. Okay, do I need to be right up into this bush? Not necessarily, I can be to create a a harder, if I've got to burn through this, I'm on the OP and I got to burn through this. If I take my tripod and I veg it up and I come back, I've just added another layer of vegetation between me and the OP or me and the target. So I don't need to be right up on it. Now, things to consider when setting up in your, your bush FFP is the light. Where's the light coming from? in my casting shadow. So let's say I was using this side of the bush, if you step over here, and I'm setting up my hide here, I, I can't be seen by the guy, but what am I casting? Shadow. So maybe I do have to get a little bit closer to hide my shadow, or I try to build my hide actually in the shadow of the bush, but take and consider the light moves. So you have to build your FFP in a way so that it fits with the time that you're gonna shoot. So if I'm here, let's say it's gonna take me an hour to build my FFP up, and the light is at a certain place right now, where is it gonna be in an hour, okay? Is that gonna expose me? So those are things you have to consideration. So I decide this is my bush, I'm being hid from my, he can't burn through this, he can't see me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my veg fan, and uh, let's talk about peaks. This seems like a silly thing, and I almost, every time I've taught this class, I always felt silly teaching this class, because it just seems so nonsensical, but it actually frickin' works. Okay, so essentially, with your hand, and hopefully you build the fan so that it, you know, you're not grabbing right here at the base, unless you got coverage, you're gonna grab inside your veg fan, okay? So go ahead and grab the veg fan, okay? And you're gonna try to spread it. Yep. So you kinda wanna make almost, almost a V. You're not trying to make a V, but you're trying to create just a little bit of a gap. Okay. okay? And then you're gonna place your optic through the center of that. Okay. So you can see through it. Okay, okay. can you see through that? Yep. Okay, so this is, this is essentially is how you're gonna do peaks, Okay. right? So we know where the OP is. Once we're behind our, our hide, we gotta figure out how far right can I move and how far left can I move? 
Before that, let's back up a little bit. We gotta find, we gotta make sure we know where the OP is. So we gotta do a peek. We could, if we can see through, if we can crawl around down here and see through, that's great. That's perfect scenario. You know what I mean? Most cases, the bush that's gonna provide you the proper cover, you're not just gonna be able to burn through at this, at this level, no matter how close or how far you get. It's gonna provide good concealment. So now what's that mean? You gotta bleed out through the edges. Okay, so you're gonna use the veg fan to do it and you're only gonna come up based, you don't wanna over bleed over on the top or you, it, specifically over the top. The top's the worst place to peek from. Okay, if you can bleed out on the shade side without creating a shadow yourself. So right now with the light being what it is, we're not gonna be way back here. We're gonna move up to where that shadow is and try to peek through that. But for demonstration purposes, we're just gonna go over how to do a peek. All right, so, we know the OP is over there, okay? We got enough coverage. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that veg fan, depending on what's appropriate, which hand you're gonna do it with. If you're, if you're bleeding left, you probably want the veg fan in your left hand. And then, you know, if you're bleeding right, obviously, you, for, for obvious reasons, right? Because you're trying to create an extension of the bush. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, it's just, it may be a wind that pushes a branch over from their perspective, whatever it is. And you gotta make sure your veg matches. Yeah, the vegetation. The vegetation. What does the OP see when they look at a bush? The top ends of the leaves. So you gotta make sure that your veg fan is in that proper direction so it blends in. Because if we do it backwards, you can see from the backside yeah. the different colors, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so essentially you're gonna put the veg fan in front of your face. We're gonna peek off to the left. Okay, you're gonna start well with the inside. Bring that up to your face. Okay, put your binos through that. So now you want this veg fan to, of course this is gonna be vegged up too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's gonna add to the depth of this. Yeah. But you want this high enough, okay, that your head's not bleeding over the top. Got it. Okay, with the veg on your hat, that's gonna fill in this space right here, mm -hmm. okay? Now you get your eye right up to that. And just like when you're shooting, you, when you're shooting around barricades, doing a uh, combat clearance style, mm -hmm. you're gonna do a slower version of that until you find that OP. Got it. Okay, you're gonna stop there for a second, then you're gonna slowly bleed back and the last thing that moves away is the veg, Got it. okay? Once you find your OP, right? Let's say I bled out, okay, I've got my OP. You're gonna, you're gonna put a little twist in your foot right here. Mark that spot, okay? Then you're gonna bleed back, bush back, uh, veg fan back, okay? That tells you your left limit. You cannot move outside of that, got it. okay? You're gonna come over to the other side of your FFP. You're gonna do the same thing. Even if this is just an observation point, I recommend you do this. You're gonna bleed out, do all this, do your peak. Once you find that spot, you're gonna come back a little bit. Mark that spot with your foot. Okay, now I know I've got all this space to move in or this space to move in, depending on the situation. Does that make sense? Yep. And I can do all my work. And I also have to make a marker in my mind, how high can I go up? Can I stand all the way up or do I need to be on my knees? You have to have a marker on that bush that you recognize like, oh shit, I'm getting too close to the top. Mm -hmm. So you're putting yourself in a box to work in so you don't bleed out. Yeah. So go ahead and try to do a peek on the left side, okay. move it out just a little bit. Now move behind it, okay? Okay, push push your, your, your veg fan out, and then you move behind the veg fan. And you slowly creep. Slowly creep. Okay, no, you're moving too fast. Yep. When you push that out, push it out at an angle towards and over towards your OP, where you think the OP is, and then bleed into it. This is a slow, methodical process, all right? You wanna expose as little as possible. Don't feel you need to rush it, but hurry the fuck up, because you got 10 minutes.
Like I can see it with my naked eye here, but I cannot see it once I'm uh Okay, so you can see with your naked eye. Okay, yeah. now let's pretend this bush is thicker. Yeah. Obviously we would not use this as our, our FFP uh -huh. because we don't have anything between us and them, yeah. right? We would be further back behind more vegetation, you know, maybe even up right, right there on that shelf, yeah. right here. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome to shoot through. That would be, it would be almost impossible for the OP to see you. Mm -hmm unless they got really good binos that they can burn through or the guy's super experienced that can see mm -hmm. through that. But more likely he's not gonna be able to pick you up. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so let's say, get to a point where you can see it. All right, let's say you've worked your way over there. All right. All right. So what you wanna do, let's say you got it. Uh, looking for it, I got the leaf in the way. Okay, all your adjustments. Yeah. If you gotta make adjustments. Come it slow, yeah. Bleed back in make your adjustments, then bleed back out. Do all your work behind the cover. It's just like shooting, right? Somebody's shooting at you, you got your uh, cover in front of you, but you decide to do your mag change in the alley, yeah. right? It's the same kind of concept. It's tedious. It is. Okay, let's say you saw it. Yeah. All right, <laughs> get, get right here and look at it. Put the glass right up to your eye, you're looking at it. All right. So now you got it in your optics, okay? Now, if you don't need the optic, uh -huh. just look through the damn bush. Yeah, I mean, I can definitely see it. Okay, so bleed back a little bit okay. where you can't see it. Okay, let, now pretend this bush is much thicker, okay. okay? So now you know this is the spot, right? Yeah. So you're gonna slide back a little, slide to your right, your upper torso, keep the veg fan in that spot. Okay, okay? move your left foot okay. to you, Okay, put a little divot in the dirt. Okay, bleed more in, leaving that bush there, and slowly pull that veg fan in. Okay. All right, when you pull this veg fan in, mm -hmm. okay, so now you got your left marker, right? Yeah. When you pull this veg fan in, okay, don't pull it in like this. Okay. Pull it in towards, do you see? Yep. It's slowly coming down, but it's going towards. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. It's harder for the eye to pick that up. Okay. Okay. So you got this side. Now you're gonna see the same process, starting where you know you have cover and figure out your, your right lateral limit. Now you wanna bleed in a little bit because you wanna give yourself enough cushion so that if you're right on the edge, you're not still bleeding over and not even realizing. So bring your foot to your, your left now, well, just a little bit, right? Roll that forward. Okay, now make your mark, okay? So you're building a little bit of cushion, a couple inches of cushion on that, right? Now slowly bleed back in all the way. 